you know, I think from the city that you live in, yes. can you tell us that incident where they actually came to the masjid, inside the masjid, and pulling off their Dean Squad yeah. stuff? Like, can you tell us more about that, Akhi? That's dangerous. But I've in, seen... Wait, in the masjid? In the masjid, in yeah. the house of Allah, <laughs> in Toronto, Canada. Okay. They were there. Mm. And the Imam, or the Khatib at the time, he welcomed them. <laughs> Literally welcomed them. So if the Khatib, who's a, who's a figure, mm. or the Imam who's a figure of the community, mm. and the community looks up to him, and if he's welcoming these guys, mm -hmm. the, the Dean Squad guy, and welcoming them by welcoming them, you're saying, what they're doing is okay. Then... Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, before we start, I ask each and every one of you to press the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the other important videos that we have coming up for each and every one of you. Brothers and sisters, this is the Akhi panel. I know many of you guys keep messaging us on a daily basis, telling us, where is the Akhi panel? So we got the Akhi panel for you today. The topic of today is a very important topic. The topic is, nowadays, as you know, Gure, you know, in, the, in Canada, in Australia, around the world, we have a few young guys who have taken over the minds of the youth. Literally, every single kid is bumping Dean Squad. You know, like Jay Dean, Carter Zahir. We're going to call them out by name. Very important because we feel that if we call them out by name, the masses that they have who are pumping them are going to at least stay away from them. And we want the face of Allah Azza wa Jal. We're not doing this for no money. We're not doing this for no fame. We're doing it for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. So, you know, good. You know, the issue of music, before we even get into J. Dean and whatnot, the issue of music itself, like, you know, to begin with, Islamically, is that even permissible to listen to music? You know what I mean? Forget about Islamicizing the music, you know? Music itself, like, what do you think? And, and what's your take on that? So, you know, let's start off with that, and then we're going to move on to the other very important things that we have coming up for each and every one of you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As for the issues of music, is... Uh Something that the, if the Prophet sallallahu is something simple, very simple idea. If the Prophet, if the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, if the Salafs, if the Sahabas, his companions, right. if all the scholars of the Deen, if they all stayed away from it and didn't listen to it, then how does it make it allowed for us? Right. And it's not only for the Jade. It's with the Deen squad. Mm -hmm. They're making it like permissible that it's allowed in Islam, which is which is the danger. A lot of these other rappers that are uh, from from uh, many Muslim rappers, right. a lot of them know what they're doing is haram. Yeah. And uh, as for J. Dean and Dean Squad, what they're doing, saying that it's halal, it's okay, that's what's corrupting the the young kids, mm. thinking that oh he's uh, rapping about Allah, he's mm. rapping about the Rasul, he's rapping about Jannah, mm. about the Masjid. Mm. If he's rapping about that, then it's allowed. Not knowing that the musical instruments and the beats and all that is not allowed in, our, in Islam. Mm. So it's just, if the Prophet didn't do it, if the Sahabas didn't do it, then it doesn't give us the right to do it. Okay. That's a very good question. You know, what I took from what you just said right now, mm. if the Prophet, if Allah never, you know, did not prescribe this in the Quran, because Allah knows the best, right, of what we should do and what we shouldn't do. So if Allah didn't say it, if the Prophet never did it and the companions never did it, then we can't do it as well. Mm. That's exactly what it is. So, subhanAllah, what about, you know, as you said, you know, like the point, Wallahi, which bothers me so much, and I keep thinking like all the youth are really like, uh, they're, they're, they're bamboozled by this, is, you know, they say it's halal. You know, imagine, imagine this saying halal music, halal hip hop, trying to change up the whole thing where it's haram, they're trying to make it halal. And wallahi, and that's a problem. Like you've even seen people in Somalia actually listening to Dean Squad, yeah. you know? So can yeah. you, can you, you know, can you tell me more about that? <laughs> yeah, I like, I remember I was in uh, Mogadishu and I myself in Somalia heard <laughs> Dean Squad being bumped. Somalia? In Somalia, which oh, I, Allah. and and the funny thing is they don't even understand English. So what they're bumping is, I was, like, it just a pu puzzled me. Like, you don't even know what he's saying, mm. and you're, you're saying it's okay and it's halal. Mm. So it's just, it's, they have literally got to the masses. They have gotten to the youths. They have been into the masajids. Mm -hmm. In the masjids. In the masjids. Wait, and I'm going to... Wait, wait, I just want to cut you off yeah. on that part. You know, I think from the city that you live in, yes. can you tell us that incident where they actually came to the masjid, inside the masjid, and pulling off their Dean Squad stuff. Yeah. Like, can you tell us more about that, Akhi? That's dangerous. I wasn't right? there. You weren't there. I wasn't there, but I've in, seen... Wait, wait, in the masjid? In the masjid, in the yeah. house of Allah. Yeah. In Toronto, Canada. Okay. 
they were there. Mm. And the Imam or the Khatib at the time, he welcomed them. <laughs> Literally welcomed them. So if the Khatib, who's a, who's a figure, mm. or the Imam who's a figure of the community, mm. and the community looks up to him, and if he's welcoming these guys, mm -hmm. The, oh. the Dean Squad guy, and welcoming them, by welcoming them, you're saying, what they're doing is okay. Mm -hmm. Then, it shows a lot. <laughs> it shows a lot. Wallahi, it's dangerous, you know. But, Akhi, you know, like, subhanAllah, um, you know, so now, what's the solution for the youth, you know? Do we tell them, where do we take them now? After Dean Squad is now trying to infiltrate their mind, and we say, it's haram, it's haram, it's haram. Is it really a sin for, for me as a young guy to listen to Dean Squad? Can I just go on Dean Squad's channel and just click their music, would it actually be a sin on me on the Day of Judgment, you know what I mean? Yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will question each and every one of us mm -hmm. on every single thing we did, mm -hmm. everything we've, uh, we've ever said. Mm -hmm. So you going on YouTube, typing it and listening to it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to ask you on the Day of Judgment yes. about it. That's and what are you going to say in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What kind of answer are we going to give? Mm -hmm. If your, your purpose is listening to music, mm -hmm. what are you going to say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's a very scary thought. Mm -hmm. Very scary thought. You're right, you're right. So And some other people are gonna say to you, Gure, Ahi, why are you speaking out against them? What haven't you publicly advised them? You know what I mean? Haven't you actually sent them messages to actually publicly advise them? And why are you coming out on Ahi panel calling it the Dean Squad? Why? Ha why haven't you publicly advised them? So yourself right now. Coming up on this channel, on this Akhi panel, have you publicly, I mean privately advised them on different social media platforms and have they even listened to you? 